Hello, my name is Emily Harper and I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own mixed media collage on the theme of Toys Through Time. So here are some examples that I've made. Um, this is a teddy bear that I remember from my childhood and this is a wind-up robot. We are making a mixed media collage so we'll need lots of media or art materials to mix and some things that we can collage. You'll need a pencil and something to colour with. I'm going to use watercolour paints, but you could use pens, pencils, paints, chalks, anything you like. You'll need some collage materials as well. I'm using some magazine pictures, scrapbook paper, bits of wrapping paper and a page that fell out of an old book. You'll also need some glue and some scissors and now we're ready to go. First of all, choose a toy to draw. If you don't have the toy anymore, you could always look up a photo on the internet and use that to sketch from. OK, the Magic 8 Ball says it's time to start drawing. We're going to use two pieces of paper. On one piece of paper, we're going to colour this in to make our collage paper, and the other one is going to be where we build up our collage. Let's take away our background one for now, and we're going to concentrate on making our very own coloured collage paper. I'm going to use some watercolour paints and on this page I'm going to paint the colour and texture of my favourite teddy bear. He was a kind of a sandy colour so I'm going to mix that up using the paint. You'll need to fill about three quarters of your page with the colour and the texture of your chosen toy. I'm using rough dabbing brush strokes to make a fuzzy fur but you might be doing smooth metal or patterned material. So adjust however you're colouring so it's got the right texture. If your toy has lots of colours, start with one background colour and then you can add the other colours later with pen, pencil or even collage. As you can see, I've left this bit here blank at the bottom for some texture in the background of my image. We're filling this part of the page ready to draw on and then cut out so we don't need to worry about being too precise. Don't worry about going over any lines because we don't have them yet. I'm just adding some darker texture in here because I find it gives a little bit more depth and interest. I'd like you to think about the imaginary world your toy would live in. So think about when you played with a toy, what did you think about? What did you imagine? My teddy bear, for example, I always thought about teddy bears picnics. So I'm going to give it an outdoor picnic area and all the things you'd expect at a picnic. And my robot, he was a bit of a futuristic space traveller. So I added a background of planets and stars. So with this bear, I'm going to paint a picnic scene with some grass and greenery. I'm using the paintbrush in one direction to create long strokes, so I've got a really different type of texture here than the fur, and it's a bit more interesting than just using plain green paper. Now, time to leave it to dry. Now the textures are dry, I'm going to take a pencil and draw within this area here. I'm drawing the shape of my teddy bear from my imagination because, sadly, I lost him years ago. I'm just sketching the outline of the shapes for his body and pencil, and then I'll go over them in pen. This is where our mixed media comes in. I'm using a fine liner pen, but you could use any kind of pen you have to give a bit more definition and detail. I'm using different types of marks to make him look even fluffier, adding lots of detail to bring my bear to life. Now that he's done, I'm going to cut him out with scissors because we're moving on to the collage part. Now you've cut out your toy, you can think about how you set out the background and the composition. So composition is just how all the different elements are going to be arranged. I'm going to add my bear in just a little off centre and then think about what the background will look like. I think I'll use the green texture to make some grassy hills. 
I'll pop it behind him and then I can draw the outline of the shapes that I need. I'm going to cut out these simple shapes. And the great thing about collage is you can keep rearranging things until you're happy with how they look. OK, I'm happy with that. I like doing things in threes because it creates a sense of balance. I'd like some sky behind my bear, so I'm going to come back to my watercolours, mix my medias again, and add some blue sky on here behind him. I'm painting in one direction and sort of blending the edges to keep it looking really soft. Let's bring our elements back in and see what they look like. I'm just trying out different layouts until I find one that works. Let's add in a bit more collage. I'm going to cut out a little picnic for him and cut out some picnic themed images from the papers I've collected. It's always a good idea to look in old magazines or even in the recycling to see if there's any colours, textures and images from packaging that would work in your design. I'm just trying some different layouts to find a composition I like, balancing the different elements, having some overlap to create some layers. OK, that's my final design, ready to glue down. Have fun creating your collage!